Hi, everybody. Anthony here. Everybody knows me from Triple XRC Garage. Uh, the world, the ones that follow me. <clears throat> um, I haven't posted a video in a while because uh, I just got out of the hospital yesterday from having a procedure done. Basically, what happened is I got very weak feeling, and the doctor told me I looked anemic, and what it turned out was my hemoglobin was down by 6.4, which means not getting enough oxygen in my uh, blood. So what happened there is I had to have a blood transfusion. In the meantime, they were wondering why I was having this problem, and it was because I was having some kind of internal bleeding. And so they scheduled a colonoscopy, and when I got that done, they found a mass in my colon. Of course, I had to go through a PET scan, which is where they put this stuff inside you and run you through the machine to see if you have cancer. Uh, my colon mass did glow pretty bright. Uh, everything else was fine. Praying to God, nothing else spread anywhere else. Um, so uh, right now, I'm actually going back to work. Uh, today because I'm self-employed and I have no health insurance and I'm going to Go and try to take care of some customers and stuff and try to make some arrangement to get uh, Someone else to help me in my business Because on Monday I should be going back in to have it removed and I'm going to be down four to six weeks, so That's my story of what's been going on with me and uh not a video to bring anybody down. My video is to bring people up, in other words, with knowledge. Um, first and foremost, if you're a male um, or a female, get a colonoscopy. Um, if you're 40 and you've had family background of, of colon cancer, then definitely get it done. If you haven't had that, then at 50 you can do it and uh, follow your doctor's directions but I will tell you um, and try to get some kind of health insurance I mean there's a lot of new health insurances out there like uh, different type of share programs like uh, Christian based like Liberty Health Share and, and stuff like that that's just one of many um, I can't think of all of them. that's the only one I know about because I've heard about it um, you know uh, definitely, definitely, if you're over 50, get a catastrophic um, insurance, if nothing else, at least to help with the hospital bills. Um, you know, I prayed real hard to God yesterday when I was getting the PET scan because they did find some spots on my spine and some lymph nodes that looked not good, and um, they didn't glow. Yay. So... You know, thank you, Lord, for that. So, anyway, I just wanted to reach out to you guys and let you know um, this is something very, very, very important. Um, so, I've been having to drink some, um, some protein shakes and stuff to prep for surgery on Monday. Uh, today is Wednesday morning, and... I'm actually going to go back out for the first time since this happened and go to work. Um, <clears throat> am I scared? I'm not going to tell you. I'm not, because I am. But I try to hide it with being funny and laugh because, um, and believe it or not, it actually kind of helps me too. But, um, you know, I just don't want to sit there and, and thrive on that. Um, has this changed my world majorly? One, uh, you know, going into semi-retirement and trying to find an employee to help with my business is big time. Uh, two, um, financially devastating. Um, you know, praying that uh, we get through this. I mean, looks like we're gonna be eating a lot of rice and beans. <laughs> but 
Anyway, I just wanted to reach out to some of you folks out there who have neglected your colon or whatever. Just, you know, don't brush it off because I did that a lot. And thank God it's not as bad as I thought it could be. Um, according to the surgeon, you know, it, it was on the right side. It bled. It alerted me. And they're going to... And he said, from what he can tell, looks like he should be able to remove the whole mass. The only thing that's kind of iffy right now is that one of the cancer cells jump through or go through one of my lymph nodes. And if it did, then I will have to have chemo. But um, they'll know more about it once they get them out as well as the mass and see if that has happened. So... A lot of prayers here. I know I got people praying for me all over the place, and I really appreciate that. So, anyway, I want to just uh, thank everybody who's praying for me, and and everybody who's been supporting my wife, and you know, on Facebook and and stuff. That I couldn't ask for a better support group for that reason. Um, and uh, we'll just stand by and see what happens. So. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, and uh, let's see what happens next.